how do I live the longest? Well, it turns out that if you want to live the longest, you want to consume the fewest number of calories, which de facto means that you don't want to be uh, a marathon runner. Uh, you don't want to be a decathlete. We're saying burn fewer calories, so you need to consume fewer calories. So if you really want to live a long time, then you want to consume as few calories and move as little as possible. But there's an optimum here. You need to move enough to strengthen your bones. You need to move, move enough to uh, keep your cardiovascular system healthy. But you don't want to leave, move so much that you need to eat so many calories, three, 4,000 calories a day, because that will accelerate your aging and your ultimate death. We know that whoever eats the less calories lives the longest, gets fewer cancers, fewer organ failure. So, which is better than exercise or dieting? Well, it's an interesting thing that came out recently. The guy who, who runs the TV show, uh, The Biggest Loser, when he first started that show, he was very much into exercise. As the years went by, what he discovered is what we already know about the human body. Exercise is not an effective way for us to lose weight. The muscle mass on humans is not big enough to be an efficient way to burn energy. We burn most of our energy just absorbing the energy out of the food we consume. The most efficient way to lose energy is not to take the calories in in the first place. But the exercise industry is a multi-billion dollar in industry of yoga mats and tennis shoes and you know exercise outfits that people buy and other people make money. So we are fed a bill of goods essentially that says exercise is good for you. Well it is at moderation. Overall though, if your goal is to live longer and to lose weight, it's best to simply take in fewer calories. So by almost all definitions I can imagine, diet's always going to be more influential than exercise.